I'm going to take you guys through a couple different situations in which it might be appropriate to actually use your wrist. Once you've gotten very, very comfortable with your roll volleys without using your wrist, then you can start to use your wrist to increase the amount of spin that you get on your roll volleys. Once we're very, very consistent with our roll volley, we can start to get a little bit of additional spin by breaking our wrist and snapping up the back of the ball. Down here and snapping. It's a very, very risky play because generally we want to be using our bigger muscles, meaning my legs, my shoulders, my arms, rather than our smaller muscles like our hand and our wrist. Because when we're using these smaller levers, it's more likely that there's going to be bigger differences in our paddle angle, causing less control, more. So sometimes where I might add a little bit of wrist, again, is on some of those roll volleys.